Hi and welcome to episode 14 of Branch Line, this beginner's model railway journey. It's been just over six months since I started my first ever layout, thank you very much. And I thought in this episode I would just show you the story so far and have a little bit of a running session. I'm not sure actually if I feel like a beginner anymore to be honest. There's been a huge learning curve for me, starting with finding a baseboard, putting it together, sorting the electrics out, wiring it up, learning about what bus wiring it is really, doing it myself lying underneath at my age, uh, which is not easy. Um, buying locos, buying wagons, carriages, fixing back-to-back -back distances, buying card kits, putting them together, and now even buying small figures and painting them. Plus many other things, you know, um, using static grass. And all, the list goes on really, as I'm sure those of you who are experienced in this will know. And um, it's fantastic. I mean, I've learned so many different skills. I can use a drill now and a hammer. <laughs> Somebody once said, um, if the hammer doesn't fix it, it's an electrical problem. Um, and I'm finding out those things as I go along. So, I just want to show you around the layout so far and have a few trains running. Um, and then I'll come back and talk about the next stages really for this um, layout for me. Hope you enjoy viewing it.
so that's it. I've got seven locos at the moment, mostly steam, and except with the exception of one, which is a small diesel, um, that looks a lot like the one my father actually drove for about 30 years. And if you notice the figure on the um, signal box steps, that's a Model U figure, which reminds me a great deal of my father. So that's a little homage to him as well on the layout. There are huge problems with the layout so far. Um, locos are stopping on points and bits of dirty track. Uh, wheels are misaligned, I've had a couple of accidents so I need to build some kind of harbour at the front. I'm going to build a harbour scene I think with a shelf really for the water that will stop locos landing on the floor and they're very close to the edge. And also here will be a back scene and I hope to do that for the next episode, show you um, how I'm going to put that together. Please, if you've watched this far, please consider um, subscribing to the channel and making a comment below. It all helps me to be encouraged to continue with it and I very much hope you've enjoyed my journey so far. And see you in episode 15.